Welcome to Jacuzzi Time with Mikey Jacuzzi. I got off the beaten path a little bit and started climbing some rocks and some other mountains and I don't know that I'm gonna make it back for dinner tonight now because <laughs> it's pushing like four o'clock and I don't know, it's it just it's so nice being out here. So I thought I'd make another post. I'm actually, I'm looking at a lake. And uh, I started thinking back to when I was when I was a kid, when I was about 16. I remember the first time I ever got drunk with friends. We were at a uh, Tappan Lake, and uh, after everybody would go to bed, me and a bunch of my buddies, we'd go cooler raiding and you know just try to find as much beer and snickers and stuff in people's coolers that we could and get drunk <laughs> it, was, it was a crazy crazy time but i remember i was uh i was walking along this this grassy place where the uh swing sets were and there was a little creek that kind of dipped down that i was walking next to and one of my buddies comes running at me with a flashlight sounding like a train <laughs> and I remember I dove into the into that little creek that, <laughs> that went through there just to not get hit by this train that was coming at me <laughs> I was just thinking about that when I when I saw that lake and you know back back in those days it was just it was pretty awesome my parents would leave me over at Tappan Lake by myself for you know weeks at a time and me and my buddies, we were into uh, volleyball, beach volleyball at the time, so we got into all these tournaments, and went around to the different lakes in the area, and got into all these sand beach volleyball tournaments. And me and my partner, we did we did really well. His name was Andy. I haven't seen or heard from him in a long time, but uh, yeah, I was just thinking about that and. This place where I'm at right now, just in the middle of nowhere, off the beaten trail, just decided to scout around some more and take some more cool pictures and take a break because <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> it's not easy going up and down mountains and rocks and things like that when you're not used to it. But I will be by the end of summer, I think, just because I plan on doing this a lot. I'm still getting attacked by bugs, though. But yeah, I just... Uh, just feel so much better about life now. I just got... You know, two more weeks, you know. Within two weeks, I really think that everything will will be in place where I need it to be and and if this other thing comes through for me then uh, I don't know if I'll uh, I'll still look for a job I still want to work you know I can't wait for M3 forever you know I know 2017 the oil and gas industry is supposed to pick back up but I can't wait that long you know maybe if I had an extra you know, 70 or 80 grand, I'd be able to. But I would go nuts not doing anything because I, I feel like I need to work. My whole life has been about work. Work and play, but you gotta have work to play. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I'm still in New York up on these mountain ranges in Harriman State Park. Enjoying the freedom. Absolutely. Nothing beats camping and hiking and things like that. I get away from that a lot and end up going to concerts and going to the beach and traveling and going different places. But, you know, one place that I really love is just being out in the woods. You know, there's always that that fear in your stomach that you're gonna run into a bear or a mountain lion or something like that, but 
It keeps the adrenaline pumping. It keeps you going. But anyway, I think I'm gonna try to find my way back to the trail. <laughs> Luckily, I have cell phone service here, so uh, at least I can get on my Google Maps and see where I parked my truck. So unfortunately for you guys, I will be back for another post. <laughs> but I really got to come up with some, some cool ideas. And, you know, I, I was watching some guy on YouTube a couple days ago. My sister was showing me, and some of his posts were fucking hilarious <laughs> hilarious and you know most people do research and stuff like that and try to build up a show for me lately it's just about life you know once people know more about me then you know then maybe I can start doing some more posts and talk about some shit and you know but until you really get to know me and, and how I am, you know, I try I try to pray for everybody. I try to try not to talk bad about anybody. I know I have before in some of my drunken rants, but you know, for me, it's I want the world to I want the world to survive, and I want people to have everything they want. That's just where I'm at right now. I'm just trying to find out what I want. Where I want to live and, you know, I definitely want to stay in the oil and gas industry. But stuck in this old and it's like, you know, I'm not, I'm not about changing careers. I mean, I've got 15 years management experience so I could probably get a job just about anywhere if I really want but for me it's if I can't make a certain amount of money it's like I don't know that I can do that yet if this side thing, side thing comes through for me then I'll be willing to do anything and I'll have enough to pay off my credit cards and all that good stuff but until then I'm just waiting and hoping and praying that phone call comes and I'm like hell yeah <laughs> so well it's a little after four it's post about eight minutes long so it's about time to cut it short and get back on the trail and get down to my truck I think my mom's making ham today so I'm ready for a nice dinner after all this walking Enjoy the peacefulness, guys. That's what life's all about. Finding your peace. And I'm still looking for mine. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.